What's up friends? It's Kay, the side boob chef in the side boob kitchen and today we're making Tom Kagai. Soup season. <laughs> All right, first things first, you're gonna take your coconut milk and put that in the pot and let that boil. While that's boiling, you're gonna wanna take your galangal and cut that into pieces and then we're gonna put it in a cheesecloth. So what you see me doing here is putting our gall and gall as well as our lemongrass in a cheesecloth, folding it up and adding it to the pot. Now the reason that I use a cheesecloth for this particular process is because we buy frozen lemongrass. So when I put that in there, sometimes it gets kind of a gritty texture if I don't actually put it in the cheesecloth, but you can still get all the flavors out of it. Next, we're gonna cut up our cilantro so that you're just left with the roots. You're gonna squeeze the roots a little bit and then you're gonna add them to the pot and this just helps release some of the flavor of the cilantro root itself. Then we're gonna take our red chilies, not all of them, just a few, slice them in half and add those into the pot. Just depends on how hot you like it. Now we're gonna tear up our kefir lime leaves and add those to the pot. You really just wanna get them separated from the stems before you add them in. Now we're gonna take our shallots, slice those up. I like to slice my shallots in big pieces, add those to the pot. And then goes in our tom yum paste. At this point, you're gonna to wanna to cut up your mushrooms and you could also do cherry tomatoes, but our grocery store was out of cherry tomatoes at this point, so we didn't add them in, but in go your mushrooms. Then while you're waiting for that to boil, you can cut up your green onion. I like to do mine in inch to inch and a half pieces. Put those to the side and add in your chicken. So we're gonna wanna wait for the chicken to cook. It only takes about two to three minutes if you're using really thin sliced chicken. And once that's done, you can go ahead and add your fish sauce. Then go ahead and top it with those green onions. Give it a good mix and serve it on up. This dish can go great with rice or by itself. I like to garnish it with a little bit of cilantro, some fresh lime juice, and enjoy. Oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Why is everything we make so delicious? And that's how you execute an authentic and delicious Tom Kagai. Mmm. 